What's going on guys? It's your boy Noe uh, back with another video and today we are switching up the content a little bit. Alright, I've been grinding out Cold War for a while and we've making a ton of videos on that. They've been doing well, but we're going to switch it up. Throwing a nice little story time here with Cold War gameplay in the background. So as you guys know, you don't have to pay attention to that. Just listen to me and enjoy the story. So let's get right into this. This happened about one year ago. Um, maybe a little less than one year, maybe 11, 10 months ago before the shutdown happened my junior year. So, cause I'm a senior now. So last year I was on my grind guys. Okay. Some of the best races running I've had. So I was drinking a lot of water. This is just a little backstory. All right. I was very focused on my athletics at this point. And I was drinking a ton of water every single day because it's obviously healthier for you to drink a lot of water. So I was drinking about four 24 ounce um, bottles of water. All right, this like metal water bottle I have, four of them in school a day. So within a seven hour period, that's a lot of water, three or four of them. So it's a lot of water just flushing everything out of my system and it helped me run a lot better too. And I would get in a routine at school with that. So I pee a lot during school, okay? Th you might not really understand what that has to do right now, but you'll understand in a second. So I had to pee a ton during school, all right? And especially at lunch, okay? So at lunch, I had to pee really, honestly, two times every single day at lunch. So it was kind of sus me going in there at the beginning of the period and towards the end of the period, but my piss was completely clear because I was drinking so much water every day. And so this kind of leads into where the story takes place. So every day I would go in there and there's kids vaping every day. It's just annoying, whatever. It's a usual. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. And I go in there and sometimes they say something to me and just BS, just be like, yo, what's up, man? Like I start laughing and I'm like, dude, shut up. Like, I don't care. I would never really say anything, but they were just annoying while I was trying to piss. And it just, it kind of made me a little uncomfortable. I really didn't care though. That they were like just trying to say stuff to me and just start stuff. I really didn't care because I would just leave and they're just idiots because they're vaping. So, um, one of these days I go in there and this one kid starts talking to me a lot. Okay. Like every day I'd go in there and he'd say stuff to me and he was getting a little noise every day thing. He knew I was going to come in there and take a piss. Okay. Every single day this kid said stuff to me and I was kind of getting fed up. He's. And even when I sat down at the lunch table, he'd say some stuff to me. Um, not really, like, talking crap, but just, like, just being a new, being obnoxious a little bit. Like, like nagging me on, you know. Um, oh, my God. All I could think of was that, that ninja clip right there uh, with the nagging me on. But other than that, um, yeah, so this kid was just, like, annoying the hell out of me every single day. And finally one day, okay... This was the breaking point for me, dude. I I literally, I didn't know what to do. All right, so I'm go I walk in there, and I'm going to take the daily piss at the beginning of the period. Okay, and this kid's in there, whatever, he says something to me. Dude, and this kid, while I am, guys, uh, this is literally not even a joke either. This is not even a joke. Literally, while I am taking a piss, this kid comes up behind me and starts twerking on me. What the f dude, what is this kid doing? Why, why, why me, man? Why me? Any other person that's taking a piss, it had to be me. It was a kid that kept, kept edging me on, being annoying, and he twerks on me, bro. Like, he was chill, but like, he was just annoying. But he, he, I didn't think he'd be really sus, but that was kind of sus, man. Like, I really didn't expect that he starts twerking on me. Like, bro, what the f dude, like, mo, like, get out of here, man. You're weird. And I, I'm, I told him off of him, like, bro, don't do that. That's weird. Leave me alone, man. But after that, um, I left, washed my hands. Actually, did we do washing? I don't even know if I washed my hands, to be honest. But I just dipped after I took the piss. And I, I dude, I was so pissed, man. Um, it was just so weird, bro. I don't even know. Like, it was just so sus, man. I didn't really know what was going on. But... Literally, every time I went in there after that, I'd be like, yo, don't do that again. I'd tell him, like, literally, uh, the next few times I went in there. And then I stopped seeing him in there after that. And then eventually we shut down for coronavirus. But, um, 
it this was like a thing that happened for like three weeks he was in there every day saying something to me and then finally he literally twerked on me i didn't know what to do like i'm like bro what the hell are you doing that was it was just so weird i really didn't understand why he did that but hope you guys enjoyed this weird story time where a kid literally twerks on me in the bathroom so freaking weird so sus i don't know man i it was just very weird kind of funny story hope you guys enjoyed subscribe road to 1k before the end of 2020 let's do it boys hope you guys enjoyed the video it's been your boy noya see you in the next one peace haters nowadays i'm not fucking with these haters told that little bitch see you later can't even count all the times i was hated i stayed on my grind while you were getting faded